Hi, my name is Ali. I'm going to be showing you how to set up your email in the mail program for Mac. So first thing you're going to do is go to the file menu and click on add account. Now the full name is going to be whatever people see on emails coming from you. So you want to make sure that it's appropriate. In this case, Ali will do just fine. Your email address is obviously your email. In this case, Ali at example.com. And the password is the password for that email. You'll click continue. Now, you're going to decide on an account type. You can do either POP or IMAP, but which one you decide on is a matter of personal preference. Here's a quick rundown of the differences between the two. POP downloads the emails in your inbox from the server to your computer, meaning that the only copy of your inbox is on your computer. IMAP syncs all of the folders and emails on the server, including your trash, sent box, or any custom folders you made, with your computer and any other devices that you may use to access your email. For example, another computer or a smartphone. In this case, we're going to go ahead and use IMAP. The description is optional. It's just so that you can recognize this email account. Next, you're going to put in the incoming mail server. That's going to be mail dot your domain name, in this case, example.com, and then your username, which is going to be your email address, so at example.com. The password is going to autofill with what you put in before, so that should be correct. Go ahead and click Continue. Now, you're going to put in your outgoing mail server. That's going to be exactly the same as your incoming, so mail dot your domain name dot com. You can go ahead and keep use only this server checked. And then you need to check this box, use authentication. That's very important, otherwise you won't be able to send any email. The username and password that it gives you ought to work just fine. Click continue. And then you can verify that the information it gives you is correct. Just make sure you didn't mistype anything or anything like that and make sure that Take Account Online is checked. Click Create, and it should automatically download your email. Now, if you're using IMAP, there's a couple more steps you need to do. Feel free to ignore this part if you set it up with POP. You'll notice that it has these folders down here, Junk, Sent, and Trash, in addition to, for example, the Sent folder that's right here. See, they're the same. What this is right here is the sent folder that's actually on the server. As you can see, I already sent a test email through the server, so it downloaded that. What we want to do is inform the mail program that these two folders are actually the same. Here's how you do that. Go ahead and click on the sent folder, go up here to mailbox, and then use this mailbox for sent. And as you can see, if you click on the sent box up here, it now has the correct email inside of it. Now you're going to do the same with these other folders. Trash, mailbox, use this mailbox for trash, and junk, mailbox, use this mailbox for junk. And there you go. Now everything's all in order and you should be set up properly. If you have any questions, feel free to call our support line anytime 24-7. I hope this was helpful and have a great day.